it is an understatement to suggest the world's population is increasing at a very fast rate that comes with concerns about food availability and security. Climate change is making fresh water perhaps the planet's most scarce resources with attendant threat to sustainable life. Drought in most parts of the world, including Ghana, gives people two options to continue talking or start acting. Imagine if Ghana can turn this vast land in the north into greening. If Ghana can use underground sea water and solar panels to make this happen and produce fresh food, enough water and energy to sustain the local population. Achieving this, especially with commercially viable technology, may sound a mirage. A young man here at Abontem in the Ashanti region is already making it a reality in the face of difficulty. Mostly, I cultivate about three acres of carrot. Cabbage is just an additional crop that I do. I make a lot of profit in carrot cultivation, but this is not the best time to cultivate the crop. The vegetables are grown here. River water is channeled into the farm. Every year, Yao Afuye and his workers have to pipe water on daily basis here for dry season farming. If one decides to invest about 15,000 Ghana cities into carrot cultivation, they are likely to get 30,000 cities. But for these women in various types of vegetable and crop cultivation at Kolongungu in the Upper East region, the white volta provides a huge solace. It is therefore worrying the river is gradually drying up. After harvesting, we consume all the farm produce. Sometimes bad weather affects the growth of our crops and vegetables. We need support from the government. It worries me a lot because when it does not rain, we don't get food to feed our family. Scientists say it is the effect of climate change. The little rain flat. Drought comes, a long spell of drought. And the little rain torrential. It rains shortly but heavy to the extent that it can even uh, destroy properties and humans' life. Though things look good for these women compared to others elsewhere, it will be much better for them if this river continues to provide water as before. The rains do not come anymore. We are uncertain whether what we have already planted will grow or not. It is really a challenge. It will no longer be easy, especially at the time the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released report on expected severe weather conditions in the near future. As we draw close to what has been predicted, feeling extra mouths might just be a bad story to tell. A report by Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin.